Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. Before we get into the reading today, we are going to take a moment and call upon all angels, guardians, ancestors, and the universe to protect this channel and all who join this community. Any negative energy that may try to enter this space, we ask that you send it back to them. Amen. And so it is. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? Being a part has opened my eyes to many things I couldn't see before. And yes, I do feel for many of you out there, this separation has opened your person's eyes. They've had an epiphany. They've had a breakthrough. They see clearly the blindfold has come off and the light bulb has turned on. So what this is really saying is that even though this separation from your person is something that's very difficult on you, it's hard on them too, by the way. But it is serving a means to an end here, because if this is what causes your person to get it and get their act together, it will have been so very worth it in the end. And this time of separation is hard and you miss your person. You want to spend time with them. You want to hug them, hold them, kiss them and be with them. But if they are waking up here, to things that they couldn't see before by having a greater understanding of themselves, of this relationship, and of you, it will be worth it at the end of the day because this separation is temporary. Think of it as a timeout or a break, not as a break up. And during this pause that is happening between you and your person, they are awakening to themselves, to the divine that's within them, and to this connection, this magical union the two of you have with each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? You're still the only one I want. Well, yes, you are still the one that your person wants. Isn't that a song from Greece? Someone please comment on that. You're the one that I want, maybe. Point is, you're still the only one your person wants. They don't want someone else. Now, let's address this really quickly. If, and I'm saying if you know that your person is stuck in some sort of karmic thing with a third party, your person still only wants you. They don't want the karmic. They're just having to work through some life lessons with that karmic, kick that karmic to the curb so they can be with you. You are still the only one your person wants. But for those of you who are dealing with those kind of very toxic and dysfunctional situations, well, it's toxic and dysfunctional for your person to be with that karmic, they are having to work through something there and they will free themselves from that release that energy from their life so they can be with you. I am not saying now that your person is with a karmic. I said, please only take that if it resonates. But the point here is you are the one your person wants. They don't want someone else because they have had an awakening to this connection, to this love, to themselves, and to you. They get it now. They understand things in a way that they haven't been able to understand them before. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? I know I need to apologize. Well, yes, they do. And they will. That apology will come from your person. It will be real. It will be raw. It will be authentic and they will explain everything to you because they want to close this chapter of this separation and they want to give you that closure with your own understanding about why they did what they did, said what they said, acted out in ways that they acted out so you can put 
all of this behind you. Now, I am not saying closure to the relationship. I'm saying closure to this cycle of separation that you are going through right now. Okay. That's why your person wants to apologize. They want to wipe this slate clean after they apologize. So the two of you can have this opportunity to start over by pressing that reset button and beginning again with one another. Because your person will be a better partner. They've had a greater understanding of themselves and of this connection now than they ever have before. That's why we said reset. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? When I lost you, I lost me. Yes. Your person does feel lost without you. That's another song, isn't it? Lost without your love. Huh. I don't know who sang it. Please drop a comment if you know who sang that song. I don't know why the songs are coming up today, but we are just going with it. Perhaps what the, that is what the universe wants today. And your person does feel lost without you. They don't like their life without you in it, just like you don't like your life without them. They do feel that part of them is missing. They feel that they are just kind of like drifting through life at the moment, trying to get to this place where they can present this apology to you because they know the two of you have something special with one another. They have awakened to the beauty of this love and this connection. Not that they didn't feel and experience it before, but they weren't ready to embrace or acknowledge it. But they are certainly in a different place or getting into this different place. They are arriving at the place where they're ready to acknowledge this connection and start moving it forward with you. Your person misses you here. I lost you. I lost me. And they do feel that part of them is gone. They feel that they can't breathe without you. You know what I mean? It's like they feel like they can't catch a full breath because your presence is not there. Comforting them, grounding them, giving them the love and support that you always gave them from that place of pure unconditional love that you always showed them. They feel lost without you, just like you feel lost without them. And don't think for one minute that this person has forgotten you just because they haven't communicated with you. How can they? How can they forget you? Have you forgotten them? Probably not. And that connection goes both ways. So you're thinking about this person. They are thinking about you as well. It's just that at this time, in this moment, they are not in the place where they can communicate with you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person and this connection? How can I love you if I don't love myself? Well, yes, very true. Self-love is a very important thing. And RuPaul says, if I can't love myself, how the hell am I going to love anybody else? And that is so true. We have to love ourselves because when we love who we are, we are more free to love others. But it also allows us to set boundaries for what we find acceptable or unacceptable in terms of behaviors and actions in a romantic partnership. But for your person... They have perhaps been through experiences in their life where they haven't felt lovable. Perhaps they didn't get the love and support and encouragement from their parents that they needed. Perhaps they were never taught how to express emotion. Perhaps they didn't receive the love that they needed from childhood all the way through adulthood. And so for whatever reason, your person feels unlovable. And that is really sad that someone would feel that. Perhaps it's a wounded inner child that makes your person feel that they can't love themselves, but their eyes have been open to many things. They are learning how to love themselves and through loving themselves, they will be able to love you better. They'll be a better partner. They'll be a better person. They will be someone who can give you the kind of love that you want, the love that you need them to give you. 
Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I ran away from you and this connection because it was just too intense and I couldn't handle how I was feeling at the time. It was just, I was just not ready for a love so great. See, this is the kind of stuff they want to talk to you about. This will allow you to get that closure that we talked about earlier on this chapter of this relationship with your person. When they apologize, they will explain why they ran, why they ghosted, why they acted out, why they said those mean, hurtful words to you, they will explain all of it. So you will know from them that it wasn't because of you, that they weren't attracted to you, that they didn't like you, that they didn't feel this connection to you. You will understand from this person that it was the intensity of this connection that they couldn't handle, not you. It was what they were feeling inside. And if they didn't know how to love themselves, they certainly didn't know how to handle the intensity of this connection. It was too overwhelming for them. But I was just not ready. I was. Was is past tense. They are getting ready for a love this great because their eyes have been open to many things that they couldn't see before. Light bulb moment. They get it now. They see the light. Yes, they weren't able to handle the intensity of this connection, but they are getting ready and they will show up for you. They will apologize and ask you if you will give them this opportunity to have this reset with you so the two of you can start over. Let's see what else we need to know. Well, that flew out. I've been looking at your social media because I just want to know how you are doing. I just totally messed that up, didn't I? I've been looking at your social media because I just want to know you are doing well. I am looking out for you. Well, not necessarily looking out for you. That may be a little bit of a fib here. They're trying to find out what's going on in your life. And not only that, they want to get a hit of your energy by checking out your social media. If you have social media, please only take this card or these statements if it resonates for you. Not everyone has social media. We have learned because people have commented about it that this whole reading doesn't apply to them because they don't have social media, but it's really just this one card. The point here is your person is loving you from a distance. They're loving you from afar. They're trying to find out, kind of like on the sly, by spying on you to see what's going on in your life. But not only that, they also want to get a hit of your energy. They want to see what you look like. They want to look at your photos. They want to feel that connection to you. And perhaps as well, your person is talking to mutual acquaintances that you have in common because they need to know what's going on with you to see if they have a chance to press that reset button with you because your person wants to apologize and you are the only one they want. They're not complete without you in their life and they know that it's time to start doing something about this. We'll use some tarot cards now. This is our deck and these message cards are our deck also. This is Enchanted Crystal Tarot, and there's a link in the description for these cards if you are interested. But let's just move on right now with this reading and see what else we need to know about this person and this connection. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? What do we need to know, please? What does the universe want to tell us? The Six of Swords interesting because the six of swords is all about technology social media is technology isn't it six of swords is also technology this also tells us however that there will be communication coming from your person and they will initiate that through text phone voice message direct message social media whatever here, but this is telling us communication is coming from your person. Now, the Six of Swords is also a card of transition, and it tells us that your person is looking at these behaviors that they have 
presented to you in the past, the things that they need to apologize for, and recognizing that perhaps that wasn't the way to behave towards you because they've had this opening of their eyes here with that light bulb moment. So the Six of Swords is about leaving things in the past and moving forward to the place where things are calm, peaceful, and tranquil. And that is exactly what your person is doing because the Six of Swords is a card of transition. And your person is leaving these things in the past where they belong and moving forward to a calmer, more peaceful, tranquil place in their life. And that in turn will create more tranquility, peace, and harmony in your relationship with them as well. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? The magician. The magician. Well, this tells us, yes, your person is very attracted to you. Absolutely, with that magician card being there. But they also feel that there is something magical, enchanting and mesmerizing about you who you are, how you make them feel. This is why they feel lost without you as well. They don't like their life without you, but this magician is about them initiating communication as well because this is telling us that they will find the confidence, the courage, and the inner strength to pick up the phone and press send to get in the car, turn the key, start driving to your house. However your person is going to make that initial contact with you, that's what this magician refers to. But as well, they are thinking about envisioning what a relationship, what a life with you would look like. And what happens when we start visualizing, we're creating that manifestation of that because we're creating it in our mind and we want it to manifest in the 3D as well. So your person is thinking about what this relationship with you would look like once you guys press that reset button. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal about this person? The star. The star is the card of hope. And it says you have reason to be optimistic about your person and this connection. The star is also a card of healing. So it does tell us that your person will be successful in releasing these things and leaving those things in the past so they no longer impact your relationship. The star is ruled by Aquarius. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Aquarius, this can serve as a place of validation that there's a message in this reading for you, but there doesn't, you don't have to be Aquarius for this reading to work or resonate. This is more the energy of what is happening with your person and this connection. The star also tells us that your person sees you as an ideal partner for them and this is something they've always known this is why they feel lost without you they don't like their life without you in it they see you as the one for them the star also tells us there is divine guidance around the situation currently with your person divine guidance divine protection from your angels their angels the universe your guides their guides trying to get them to work through the last parts of their stuff so they can start reaching out to you and rebuilding this connection by pressing that reset button. I wish I had a big red button. Reset. Yes. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Well, this is the Six of Cups. Six of Cups comes up quite a bit for these readings on this channel as well as the other channel and if you haven't found our other channel it is soulmates twin flames tarot or just at sign soulmates twin flames there's readings there daily as well monday through friday 
But it makes sense that the Six of Cups would appear in a lot of these readings because it is all about reunion, basically. It is about your person taking trips down memory lane, reflecting on happier times when the two of you were together, reliving those shared adventures, experiences, romantic times and intimate moments, and wanting to have them again wanting to create new memories with you, wanting to spend time with you. The Six of Cups is about something or someone from the past returning. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? The Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about structure and stability and if we think about it it's like there's these four cornerstones and that creates the stability and this is about stability being restored to your relationship with your person but it's also a structure because it's these four pentacles so think of four stones and then you build walls from those four stones so this also tells us that your person does think about this future with you in terms of the two of you sharing a home moving in together perhaps domestic partnership perhaps getting married getting engaged whatever the situation is for you and your person this is about the two of you coming together but the Four of Pentacles is also a card that tells us your person wants to hold on to you. They want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to your love. And they want to hold on to this connection. Because again, they've opened their eyes. They see things now. That light bulb has been flipped on and it is staying on because your person gets it now. And they understand you and themselves and this connection with much greater clarity than they ever have. Let's see what else we need to know about this person and this connection. What does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know? What is going on here for this connection with this person, please? Thinker comes with number 44. Your person has been spending quite a lot of time thinking. This is what has given them their epiphany, their light bulb moment, their breakthrough, so to speak. But they also recognize that it's time to start thinking and start doing something. They have spent a lot of time contemplating this relationship, contemplating themselves, their actions, their behaviors, which is why they say here, I know I need to apologize to you. At least they acknowledge that they're taking ownership of that, of their actions and behaviors. So that's actually a good thing as well, right? Because if they didn't think they needed to apologize, there would be no point in continuing on with this person. You guys watching the reading, okay? But they have given a lot of thought, lots of contemplation, lots of self-reflection and self-analysis. And through all of that time of talking to themselves on the inner planes, they have gained this sense of awareness and clarity about themselves, why they acted and behaved the way they did, which is what they want to apologize for, but also that it's time to manifest this union with you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? time machine. Yes, very similar to that six of cups energy. And that comes with number three. If anyone resonates with a number three or 44, time machine is all about, again, your person reliving your moments, reliving your adventures and your memories that you have with each other and acknowledging that it is time to do something. It's time to stop thinking and start acting and reaching out to communicate with you. And this six of swords, as we mentioned, is very much about that communication coming from your person through technology, through a phone, social media, email, text, direct message, because the six of swords is also that technology card. So 
with this time machine as well, your person is saying here, they understand that time is of the essence and that it's time to get moving and grooving here. So they know that, well, I don't really want to say they know that you're growing impatient because patience is unconditional love and unconditional love is patience and you have that unconditional love for your person, but they know that they need to do something. They have this energy building within them that it's time to do do and stop thinking that it's time to act and stop contemplating that there is a call to action here for your person let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the collective need to know about this person and this connection i know this is a really weird looking card and these are kind of fun but three two one jump now what I get from this, and it comes with number one, which is the number for the magician card in the tarot, but this little heart here is on the edge of that cliff getting ready to jump. So I do feel that this is telling us that your person is getting ready to jump here, let the universe catch them, and start taking action. This is about your person taking a giant step forward, very much like the fool, taking that leap of faith, jumping in, and just going for it. Taking action. Making something happen. Three, two, one, jump. Your person jumping in with both feet to get this relationship out of this place where it is, where you are in separation, where there's no contact, because your person definitely sees here that there is this opportunity with you for a future. They see you as the ideal one for them. They know that they can't stop thinking about you. They know that when they lost you, they also lost themselves and that you complete this person in a way no one ever has before. Because they've had this awakening, being a part has opened their eyes to many things that they did not see before. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? Melting ice. See? Softening. Letting guard down. Beginning to trust. This is about your person melting into you actually this is about them letting down their guard opening their heart and beginning to trust what they feel if they didn't know how to love themselves they have probably not really known how to trust but through loving themselves they are learning how to trust what they feel inside which is going to cause them to return to you and start rebuilding your relationship Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? Change, transformation, new chapter. Yes, we talked about bringing closure to this chapter of separation between you and this person so that you can start writing a new chapter of your love story with each other. Rebirth and your person has changed here. Remember, their eyes are open now. They couldn't see it before, but they most certainly can now. And that light bulb is going to stay on for your person so they never have any doubts or issues again. Nor will they create the same kind of problems that they have created in this relationship with you after they apologize to you. They will own all of it for everything that they have done here. The drama, the chaos, the trauma, dysfunction perhaps it even became toxic for some of you your person will work with you to let all of that go between the two of you and press that reset button so you can have this new beginning with each other what else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today please what does the collective need to know about this person genuine authentic, sincere, and true. And your person will be very genuine as they return to you because they have gone through a transformation and they have changed in the ways that they need to change. They will be more authentic 
They will be real. They will be honest and they will be raw because they want to open their heart to you. That is part of this melting ice thing as well. Being open, letting down their guard and letting you in. But there will be a sincerity from your person and you will see that from them when they apologize and they apologize for creating these problems between the two of you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person and this connection? Wisdom. Yes. I love that owl. Who on this channel resonates with owls? I know that there's people out there that do. Wisdom, knowledge, discernment. Well, yes. Your person has gained wisdom here during the time that you have been apart from each other. How could they not? Because as we mentioned in the beginning, even though this separation is difficult for you and it's hard on them as well, it is serving its purpose. There is a purpose. There is a reason why this separation is happening. And it is actually part of your soul contract, soul blueprint with this other soul that you will have these experiences and even to have this separation. There is a higher purpose for the reason you are away from each other right now because your person had to wake up and see the light and get their act together. And that is what they are doing. You've awakened as well. You guys watching the reading today, you have grown and changed and transformed during this separation time because that is the only way that you can get through a separation. But your person is also having to look at all of the things that held them back. These things from the past that were holding them down, that were preventing them from moving forward into the fullness of this relationship with you. And during this time apart, they have opened their eyes to things they couldn't see before because they were blinded to them, perhaps because they were resisting it, or perhaps it was just their fear that was causing them to not see it. But also, they feel lost without you. Their life pretty much sucks without you in it. And you are still the only one they want. They don't want anyone else. They have to work through their stuff, though, so that they can show up for you, so they can be here for you and be the partner you need them to be. They will no longer be fearful of the intensity of this connection. They will be able to handle how they are feeling. They weren't ready for a love so great in the past, but as they are, finishing off this transformation here that they are going through, they will be able to be ready for this love. They are working themselves towards this place because they want this opportunity for this fresh start with you. They want this opportunity to rediscover each other and re-explore this relationship with both of you being in a brighter, better place than where you were before because your person with the Six of Swords is leaving all that gunky, icky stuff in the past and it will stay there. They want to hold on to you. They see you as the ideal partner for them. They are thinking about you all the time, reliving your experiences, replaying your conversations in their mind the good ones, the bad ones, gaining in a greater understanding about what they need to fix within them so this never happens again. And that is what is happening here. Your person has found greater wisdom during this time that they have been in this separation place. And they have a greater understanding of you of themselves and of this connection. And this is why they are holding on to you and hoping you will give them an opportunity to press that reset button together. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.